Yesu. Are we ready to receive the word of God? Tuko tayari kupokea neno. Are we ready to receive the word of God? Tuko tayari kupokea neno. Shall we all rise up? Sote tusimame. Shall we all rise up? Sote tusimame. Shall we put our hands together? Tuweke mikono yetu pamoja. As we welcome the man of the hour. Tunapokaribisha mtumishi wa Mungu. Of God. Ora Come kwa Mungu. Shangilia the oracle. Shangilia shangilia baba yetu. Kwa jina la Yesu kwa jina la Yesu. Amen and amen. And asante asante. Celebrate the Lord with a good heart. Tushangilie bwana kwa makofi mazuri. Give the Lord a better 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 hand. Patie bwana makofi mazuri. If you came with your hands. Kama ulibeba mikono yako. Come above your head. Weka juu ya kichwa chako. Celebrate celebrate the Lord. Shangilia Yesu. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Thank you thank you may be seated. Asante tuweza kuketi. And as you sit down may you never go down. Unapoketi chini usiende chini. Can I hear the amen? Amen. Let me hear another amen. Amen. Asante uh, asante asante. Amen. We want to appreciate uh, a number of people who are watching us from UK. Tunatambua watu wengi ambao wanatuangalia kutoka kule UK. Lena is watching us from UK. Lena anatuangalia kutoka UK. Rose Palmer is watching us from Australia. Rose Palmer anatuangalia kutoka Australia. So this is an international meeting. Huu ni mkutano wa kimataifa. There are people watching us from all over the world. Tayari ulimwengu mzima unatutazama. In Jesus mighty name. Kwa jina la Yesu. And of course many others from other counties. Na wengine wa counties zingine. We also honor and appreciate them. Tunawatambua na kuwakaribisha. In Jesus mighty name. Kwa jina kula Yesu. So pay a lot of attention this uh, morning. Kuwa makini asubuhi ya leo. In Jesus mighty name. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Many of us. Wengi wetu. We desire to be on top. Tunatamani kuwa pale katika kilele. Everybody desires to be on top. Kila mmoja anatamani kuwa juu. But there are things we must deal with under. Lakini kuna mambo lazima tushughulikie kule chini. Bwana tukuzwe sana. Amen. There are things we must deal with under. Kuna mambo lazima tushughulikie kule chini. That is in our lives. Katika maisha yetu. So that we may be able to soar higher and higher. Ili tukaweza kupaa juu na juu zaidi. That we may be able to excel in everything we do in life. Tufanikiwe kwa kila tunachofanya maishani. But every one of us. Lakini kila mmoja wetu. Desires to soar up higher like an eagle. Anatamani kupaa juu kama yule that when you look at a facility like this you will say this person has soared high unasema ya kwamba huyu mtu hakika amepaa juu the hand of god is upon them kona wa mungu uko juu yake there must be something they did to be where they are lazima pana kitu walifanya ili wafike hapa and each one of us na kila mmoja wetu you will only go high utaweza tu kupaa juu depending on the depth of your foundation kulingana na kilindi cha misingi yako depending on what is under your life kulingana na kile kilicho chini ya maisha yako and that is part of what I'm believing God I want to share with Ni sehemu ya yale ambayo naamini Mungu atafundisha Understanding the root kuelewa mizizi to encounter your fruit ili ukumbane na matunda Hey understanding your root kuelewa mizizi yako to encounter your fruit ili ukumbane na matunda yako Very very important Ya muhimu sana When we are talking about roots tukizungumzia mizizi we will be talking about your foundation tutazungumzia misingi yako Many leaders desire viongozi wengi wanatamani to live a good life waishi maisha mazuri drive a good car endesha gari nzuri live a comfortable life akae maisha starehe but despite all your efforts na kando na bidii yako 100 days of prayer siku 100 za maombi 100 days of fasting siku 100 za saumu is like things still fight against you ni kama bado mambo yanakuendea kinyume things don't cooperate with you mambo hayakubaliani na wewe that the journey in life is becoming uh, I mean weary. Ya kwamba safari ya maisha inaendelea kuwa ya kuchosha. Is that when you look at people who don't pray they are better than you. Unapoangalia wale hawaombi hata ni wazuri kukushinda. Bwana tukuzwe sana. Aha. You look at people who don't even do any effort. Wale ambao hawaeki juhudi yoyote. It's like they are doing better than us. Unatambua ni kama wanaendelea vizuri kutushinda. When you get to hospital. Ukienda hospitalini. You find believers are more than unbelievers. Wale wameokoka ndio wengi kuliko wale hawaamini. And you wonder what could be the problem? Unashangaa shida inaweza kuwa nini? The people who don't uh, even pray like you. Wale hawaombi kama wewe. They have bigger churches. Wana makanisa makubwa. And you wonder. Unashangaa. I spend more time praying. Natumia wakati mwingi kuomba. But my problems are multiplied. Lakini shida zinaongezeka. Bwana tukuzwe sana. Somebody say after today. Uh, after today. Things must change. Things must change. Things must change. Things must change. And in the journey of life. Katika safari ya maisha. In the journey of life. Katika safari ya maisha. There is a level you reach. Pana kiwango unafika. Where God can either call you my friend. Ya kwa Mungu anaweza kuita rafiki yangu. 
That is another level. Ni kiwango kingine. There is another level. Kuna kiwango kingine pia. Where God will always say that is my servant. Ya kama Mungu anasema yule ni mtumishi wangu. There is another level. Kuna kiwango kingine. Where God will say touch not my anointed. Ya kama Mungu anasema usiguse masihi wangu. So these are different levels in life. Ni viwango tofauti maishani. The day siku our president took over. Rais wetu alipochukua sukani. There are people now who can't reach him. Pana watu sasa waweze mfikia. There was a change of God. Sana mabadiliko ya ulinzi. More security we are added. Ulinzi ukaongezwa zaidi. The level he is Kiwango chake is different from a governor. Ni tofauti na governor. Is different from an MCA. Ni tofauti na yule MCA. But they are all serving one government. Na wote wanatumikia serikali moja. But different graces. Lakini kwa neema tofauti. Different graces. Neema tofauti. And that is also what happens. Ndio hiyo inafanyika pia. That in the kingdom of God. Kwa ufalme wa Mungu. There are different graces. Pana neema tofauti. Different graces. Neema tofauti. But you grow into those graces. Lakini unakomaa katika hizo neema depending on where you are coming from kulingana na misingi unakotokea depending on where you are coming from kulingana na mahali unatokea and in this case katika hali hii people whose life becomes so I mean a tired watu ambao maisha yao yanachosha you get tired in the way unachoshwa njiani that i've done all i can ya kama nimeweka juhudi zote things still are not changing mambo hayabadiliki things are not changing mambo hayabadiliki so i am talking about men and women nazungumzia wake kwa waume who are suffering what i call the mistakes of their parents wanateseka na kile naita makosa ya wazazi the mistakes of your parents makosa ya wazazi wako the mistakes of your parents Mako- kosa wazazi can cost you your ministry inaweza kukugarimu huduma yako the mistakes of your parents makosa ya wazazi can cost you your marriage inaweza kukugarimu ndoa yako the mistakes of your parents makosa ya wazazi can cost all you have to go down the drain inaweza garimu kile ulicho nacho kikaogelechi very very important ni ya muhimu sana maybe to begin with kuanzia psalms 11 verse number 3 zaburi 11 3 because i'm talking to the righteous nazungumzia wenye haki I'm talking to the righteous. Nazungumzia wenye haki. In Psalms 11 from Zaburi. verse number 3. Zaburi 11:3. These are the righteous. Ni wenye haki hawa. And he says, Inasema, if the foundations be destroyed. Kama misingi ikiharibika. If the foundations have a problem. Kama misingi ina shida. The people that suffer are not the world. Wale wanateseka si wale wa ulimwengu. It is the righteous. Ni wenye haki. The righteous. Wenye haki. So most of the people that are suffering. Watu wanateseka sana because of their roots. Kwa sababu ya mizizi yao. Their foundation. Misingi yao. It is the righteous. Ni wenye haki. The righteous. Wenye haki. But somebody say I will call correct nitarekebisha the foundation misingi of my parents ya wazazi wangu i understand Amen. so many of us wengi wetu we are suffering the foundations of our parents tunateseka kwa sababu ya misingi ya wazazi the foundations of our parents misingi ya wazazi and that is what i'm calling the mistakes of our parents ndio ninaita makosa ya wazazi and i was also to talk to men and women nataka nizungumzie wake kwa waume when you look at your life unapoangalia maisha yako it's like it has no value ni kama haina dhamana it has no value maisha yako hayana dhamana the life you live has no value Maisha unaishi hayana dhamana. You are always at stand still in anything you do. Kila wakati unakwama kwa kile unafanya. Everything you do you are on a stand still. Chochote unafanya unakwama. And more so you are on a reverse gear. Na zaidi ya yote unarudi nyuma. You are always going backward. Daima unarudi nyuma. You desire to go forward. Unatamani kwenda mbele. But you are always going backward. Lakini unarudi nyuma. Somebody say after today. Baada ya leo. I destroy naharibu the challenges. Changamoto in my foundation. Kwenye misingi yangu. That is what we need to understand. Lazima tufahamu vile. There are men and women. Kuna wake kwa ume. They are believers. Wameokoka. They live in what I'm calling the valley of affliction. Wako katika bonde la mateso. The valley of affliction. Bonde la mateso. The valley of poverty. Bonde la umaskini. You have been sentenced to medication. Umeandikiwa kutumia madawa. You'll take medication year in year out. Unatumia madawa mwaka baada mwingine. And you keep asking God where did i go wrong unauliza mungu nilikosea wapi you have repented all your sins umetubu dhambi zote you have repented every kind of sin umetubu dhambi ya kila aina and more you uh, mean uh, Uh, try to repent unapozidi kutubu more trouble comes shida zinaongezeka more trouble comes shida zinaongezeka but i pray by revelation naomba kwa ufunuo you shall be set free utafunguliwa by revelation kwa ufunuo you shall be set free utafunguliwa 
When we are talking about this foundation, we are talking about believers. Your parents alone, where you were born or you came from, your parents, they registered you in the University of Soros, in the University of Affliction. In the university of sickness. That any time they are calling the register of the sick. You are there present sir. Diabetes. Present sir. High blood pressure. pressure. Present sir. Today I remove your name. I remove your name. From the register of sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. It is not your portion. If we call correct the foundation the building will be colorful and I pray that after today there are people I will meet they will tell me my life changed according to the name of the hotel son May you begin to shine. You will begin to shine after today. I say you begin to shine. Whoever covered your life with the garment of poverty, today I pray that garment of sorrow, garment of diabetes, they shall catch fire. Somebody say catch fire. Say my yote. Alilani. Misingi. Ya maisha yangu. Ya maisha yangu. Today, Today you shall release me. Release me now. Inua mkono moja sema my father my God. My father my God. Kila nguvu za giza. Kila nguvu za giza. Zinatesa. Zinatesa. Familia yetu. Familia yetu. Today, Today you shall catch fire. You shall catch fire. You shall catch fire. You shall catch fire. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Be seated for tuketi, a while. Tuketi kwa muda. In Jesus name. There are people. Your parents are not alive. But you are continuing with their sorrows. You are continuing with the sorrows of your family. That one is coming to an end. We shall put a full stop. In the name of Jesus. There are leaders. Men and women that are righteous. You suffer under what I call closed heavens. Closed heavens. Closed heavens. Did you know that heavens can be closed? Did you know heavens can also be opened? Listen to this. This is how Isaac opened the heavens of Jacob. Jacob just brought soup. Jacob just soup. Soup too. And Isaac said, I may not see, si kuoni, but I am seeing the spirit. Na rohoni. May God give you Mungu akupe. the dew of heaven. Umande wa I pray for somebody. Na mtu. May God give you Mungu akupe. the dew of Kericho. Umande wa Kericho. The dew of Kericho. Umande wa Kericho. And the fatness of the county. Na manono ya county. In the name of Jesus. La yesu. May God give you Mungu akupe. the dew of of heaven and the fatness of Kericho. Somebody say, I hear you. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Be seated. Very, very interesting. So anytime your foundations have a problem, the heavens close. The heavens can close. They are believers also. Leaders. They go through round the clock calamity. Around the clock. What you suffered last year in July has begun again. What you suffered last year has also begun again. I am here to put a full stop. I am putting a full stop by the grace of God in my life. Your ministries will never stagnate. May God give you a voice. May God give you a voice in the name of Jesus. I pray for men of God. May this grace silence every disgrace. In the name of Jesus. You will be heard where you preach. You will be heard in the name of Jesus. Your business will be known. Will be known. May God give you land in Kericho and the environs. Somebody shout yes. Yes. 
visita lisa tu there are believers because of the foundational problem kwa sababu ya shida za msingi they have no testimony hawana shuhuda they only hear testimony wanasikia shuhuda za wengine but they have never heard hawana but i pray yanaomba today you will capture a testimony you utashika ushuhuda you will get a testimony utapokea ushuhuda listen to me nisikize hapa you don't need many testimonies hauhitaji shuhuda nyingi you only need to hold samuel unahitaji kushika samuel silence penina unyamazishe penina ah. yes 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 <laughs> Listen. You only need one miracle. Unahitaji mujiza moja. Penina will be silent. Penina atanyamaza. May God give you that testimony. Mungu akupatie hiyo shuhuda. May God give you that testimony. Akupatie hiyo shuhuda. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Where you are today. Mahali ulipo leo. It's not where you be tomorrow. Sio mahali utakuwa kesho. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. There are people listening me Kana today. Kana wale wananisikiza leo. Even the color of your skin. Hata rangi ya ngozi yako. Will change after today. Itabadilika baada ya leo. Aha aha people who knew you waliokujua they will not find you where they left you hawata kupata mahali walikuacha amen there is somebody kana mtu who used to sit at the pool aliyokuwa na keti kwenye kisima 38 years miaka 38 On the 39th year somebody came to look for him mtu akaja kumtafuta and he was told anaambiwa the mzee who used to be here yule alikuwa hapa for 38 years miaka 38 he is no longer here hayuko tena he is no longer here hayuko tena there are people here kuna watu hapa where they left you mali walikuacha they will not find you hawatakupata they left you walking walikuacha ukitembea they find you driving wakupata na gari you didn't have a baby hukuwa na mtoto may they find you with a baby Toto. They didn't find you in marriage. They will find you where. Uh, Next time you meet them. Ukikutana, you will say meet my wife. Utamwambia kutana na mke wangu. Meet my husband. Kutana na mume wangu. Meet my children. Kutana na watoto wangu. Somebody say I hear you. I hear you. Sema chochote. Chochote. Kinazuia. Kinazuia. Ushuhuda. Ushuhuda. Wa maisha yangu. Wa maisha yangu. Today. Today. You shall be broken. You shall be broken. You shall be broken. You shall be broken. Sema chochote. Chochote. Kilishika kilishika ushuhuda wangu ushuhuda wangu wherever you are wherever you are you shall die you shall die amen Amen. May God give you a face of a testimony. Mungu akupe sura ya ushuhuda. A face of a testimony. Sura ya ushuhuda. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. After today. Baada ya leo. Where they left you. Mali walikuacha. They will not find you. Hawatakupata. Ah, ah. Amen. I say where they left you. Walipokuacha. They will not find you. Hawatakupata. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Somebody say Jehovah. Jehovah. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. Remember me. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Tuke tuke. Foundation all problem shida za kimsingi they have made men and women zimefanya wake na waume never to testify wasishuhudie the goodness of the lord wema wa mungu never to testify wasishuhudie the goodness of god wema wa mungu i have walked with god nimetembea na mungu and i have seen battles nimeona vita of all kinds za kila aina i have seen battles nimeona vita of all kinds za kila aina battles in the valley vita kwenye bonde battles in the mountain vita kwenye milima battles of accusation vita za kushtakiwa battle with curses vita tanalaana oh manner of kila aina ya vita but one thing i know kitu kimoja nimetambua greater is he mkundi that is in me aliye ndani yangu than he that is in the world saidi ya yule aliye lumbudi i say you have a greater una yule mkuu what other suffer kila wengine wanateseka may you escape wewe ukaponyoke may you escape wewe utaponyoka what your mother suffer kile mama aliteseka you shall escape utaponyoka what your father suffer kile baba aliteseka you shall escape utaponyoka somebody say I I shall escape. I shall escape. I shall escape. I shall escape. There are people here who I call great leaders. Na waita viongozi wakuu. Who are supposed to. Wanafaa. But they are not today. Lakini hawajafikia. Because the foundation dictates. Misingi naamua. That this is where your parents reach. Hapa ndipo wazazi walifika. You can't go beyond. Hautavuka. The devil is alive. Shetani ni mwongo. You will cross. Utavuka. You will cross. Utavuka. You will cross. Utavuka. You will cross. Utavuka. Somebody say kila laini. Kila laini. Iliyochorwa. Iliyochorwa. Katika familia. Katika familia. After today. After today. I cross. I cross. I cross. I cross. I cross. I cross. In the name of Jesus. What's in the name of Jesus? 
car never resemble where you came from usifanane na mahali umetoka resemble where you are fanana na mahali unaenda amen hey never resemble where you are coming usifanane na mahali unatoka resemble where you are going fanana na pale unaenda may you begin resembling dubai anza kufanana na dubai amen begin to resemble china fanana na china because that is where you are going hapo ndio unaenda amen Begin resembling where you are going. Fanana na pale unaenda. Don't resemble village. Usikae kama mtu wa kijiji. Hey. Amen. Sema kila roho ya kijiji. Kila roho ya kijiji. Ambayo imenifunga. Ambayo imenifunga. Today. Today. You shall release. You shall release. Sema magonjwa ya kijiji. Magonjwa ya kijiji. Niachilie. Niachilie. Amen. Visit. To get it, to get it. Resemble where you are going. Fanana na pale unaenda. And if you want to know where you are going. Ukitaka kujua unaenda wapi? You will see there is a license. Lazima one leseni. There is a passport. Pana passport. Those are things that tell you where you are going. Ni vitu za kukuonesha mahali unaenda. Amen. So if you don't have a driving license. Kama una leseni ya gari. Get it immediately. Pata upesi. If you don't have a passport. Kama una passport. Get it immediately. Chukua haraka. Look like where you are going. Kama kama mahali unaenda. Ah. Amen. Look like where you are going. Kama kama mahali unaenda. Tunaelewana. Amen. Mahali unataka kwenda unaenda kwa simu na Google. Aha. Dubai kuna kana mna gani? Aha. Unaanza ku study Dubai. Angalia Dubai kuna ka. Kaa vile wale wanakaa. Look like where you are going. Bwana tukuzwe. Amen. Because there are some here. Kuna wengine hapa. They have never reached Nairobi. Hawajafika Nairobi. You hear about Nairobi? Uta, unasikia tu kuhusu Nairobi? Kericho is not the whole world. Kericho sio dunia nzima. <laughs> the others who have never reached Mombasa. Kuna wengine hawajafika Mombasa. Because you had kuingia ni harusi kutoka ni Matanga. <laughs> You say hey, stuck in Matanga. I don't want to die. Hapana. <laughs> Look like where you want to. Ka, go. Kama mahali unaenda. And there are people here today. Pana watu hapa leo. We are opening a new chapter. Tunafungua kurasa mpya. We are opening a new chapter. Tunafungua kurasa mpya. You are a leader to be leading. Wewe ni kiongozi wa kuongoza. You will not lead from behind. Hautaongoza nyuma. You will lead from ahead. Utaongoza ukielekea mbele. Whoever brought you back. Aliyekurudisha nyuma. I am here to push you forward. Nakusukuma mbele. I am pushing you forward. Nakusukuma mbele. I am pushing you for na kusukuma mbele na hali ulikorogewa i bring you out na kutoa i bring you out na kutoa yeyote alikufungia gereza whoever tied in a prison maskini, oh poverty you shall escape unatoka somebody say i'm coming out natoka i am coming out natoka in jesus name what jina la yesu Visit it. Tuketi tuketi. Listen and listen to. Skiza kwa makini. There are things God never gave you. Pana mambo vitu Mungu akukupatia. God never gave. Pana vitu Mungu akukupatia. We shall approve to them. Tutangoa. We shall approve them. Tutangoa. Somebody said they shall be approved. They shall be approved. Listen to this. Kizai. In Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 16. Jeremiah the Ladini 16. Foundational issues. Mambo ya kimsingi. Are what are deterring you ndio inakuzuilia from enjoying the blessings kufurahia baraka in jeremiah 30:16 Look at what God says. Therefore, all they that devour you shall be devoured. Basi wote wakulao wataliwa. There are people who devour. Kuna watu kazi yao ni kula wengine. Some of powers that devour. Powers that devour. They shall be devoured. They shall be devoured. Secondly he says. Ya pili anasema. And all thy adversaries. Na adui zako wote. Adversaries. Adui zako wote. Every one of them shall go into captivity. Watakwenda kufungwa. So when your enemies go into captivity. Adui zako akifungwa. You enjoy the freedom. Wewe unafunguliwa. But if you are in captivity kama umefungwa then your enemies rejoice adui zako wanafurahia so there will be an exchange patakuwa na kugeuzwa there will be an exchange patakuwa na mabadiliko but every one of them wayote that is your adversary adui zako they shall go into captivity wataingia kwa kufungwa Hey, thank you for the few amen. Asante kwa amen church. Thank you for the few amen. Asante kwa amen church. Somebody say chochote. Chochote. Kimenifunga. Kimenifunga. You shall release me. You shall release me. Hapa kuna mamilionea wa. Ni mamilionea si. Ni ara mamilionea si. Aha. Ha. Amen. Uwezi ka inchi ya majani chai. You can't stay in a place where and be a beggar. Na we maskini. Never. Haiwezekani. <laughs> This a land ni maeneo full of wealth. Imejaa utajiri. You'll be part of the wealthy Uta people. Utakuwa sehemu ya matajiri. 
Watu watakwambia niko na hii majani eka 10, chukua eka 5, palilia uza utanilipaga baadaye. I have 10 acres take 5. That is what we are calling favor. Ndio kibali hicho. You must look like what you are expecting. Lazima ukae kama kile unatarajia. Hey. Amen. Bwana atukuzwe sana. Hey, amen. You must look like what you are expecting. Kaa kama kile unatarajia. What are you expecting? Unatarajia nini? Somebody say pesa mpya. Pesa mpya. So kaa kama pesa mpya. Aha, look like new money. Kaa kama pesa mzee. Don't like old Aha. currency. Kaa kama pesa mpya. Look like the new currency. <laughs> you know I saw yesterday in a certain church. Jana nikaona kwa kanisa moja. The internet. Aha. They will have what is called dedication of new money. Wakfu ya pesa mpya. You know there are people who don't know what, what, what kind of a service that is. Kuna watu wale wao ibada ni gani hiyo? Dedication of new currency. Weka wakfu hii uh, pesa mpya. People don't know what what is that. Watu wale wao ni We are just getting new currency. Tunapata tu pesa mpya. We don't know where they were dedicated Hatu before they came to ili, us. Ili toka wapi kabla ileto kwetu? <laughs> so uh-huh. in a bit mfanye dedication ya currency mpya watu uh-huh. uh-huh. Yes, una dedicate currency mpya. Unasema hii pesa haitatufanya maskini. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Na haitakuwa inakuja inaenda inakuja ikienda. Uh-huh. Itakuja inatuhudumia kabla iende. It will come and save I understand. Us. Amen. Uh, and I love that preacher. Nikapenda huyo mhubiri. I didn't I had no idea of this kind of a service. Sikujua kitu kama hicho. Dedication of new currency. Kuweka wakfu pesa mpya. Hey Jesus Christ. Aha. Nikushika noti unasema Jehovah Bab I dedicate this currency. Naweka wakfu hii pesa. That every time I hold money. Kila nikishika pesa. It will never be wasted. Haitaharibika. Amen. It will serve the purpose. Itatumikia kusudi. It will serve the purpose. Itatukumikia makusudi. That's for another day. Yes, siku nyingine. Bwana atukuzwe sana. Amen. So when we are talking about foundation. Tukizungumzia misingi. These are powers that devour. Ni nguvu za ku, za they kuharibu. They devour. Zinaharibu. They devour. Zinaharibu. It is an entity that devours. Ni eneo la kuharibu. It can finish your destiny. Inaweza haribu hatima yako. Somebody say foundational problems. Foundational problems. Somebody say foundational problems. Foundational problems. When people suffer foundational problems Watu wakiteseka na misingi you work so hard Unafanya juhudi but the fruit is limited Lakini matunda na mazao ni kidogo limited fruits Mazao kidogo limited fruits Mazao kidogo I prayed for, for a man of God some years back Nikamwambia mtumishi wa Mungu wakati ule pita Pastor Akaniambia mchungaji I have fasted enough Nimefunga kweli ya kutosha I have to eat lazima nikule sasa and the people i'm fasting for watu wale nafungia they are becoming poorer and poorer ndio <laughs> wanakuwa maskini na maskini zaidi they are becoming more poorer wanaendelea kuwa maskini zaidi the days i fast siku nazofunga the offering that is normally 10000 it comes to 15 sadaka ambayo ilikuwa 1000 na shuka mpaka 1100 when i wakati ninafunga what is dealing with nini anashughulikia is foundational poverty ni misingi ya umaskini any time you want to attack it it becomes worse ukiishambulia inaharibika Somebody said today. Today. We silence. We silence. Foundational problems. Foundational problems. That is any time you want to rise to fruitfulness. Kila unatapotaka kuinuka kwa mazao. You realize unatambua. there is no fruit. Hakuna mazao. That is a sign. Ni ishara. The foundations are mocking you. Misingi na kudhihaki. The foundations are mocking. You. Misingi na kudhihaki. And if you can be able to conquer foundational problems. Kama utashinda nguvu za kimisingi. Any other, any other thing above you. Kila kitu juu yako will celebrate. Kitakusherehekea. Anything above you will celebrate. Kila kitu kingine kitakusherehekea. Bwana atukuzwe sana. Amen. In my journey as a minister of this gospel. Katika safari yangu ya kama mtumishi wa Mungu. I have never stopped praying against evil foundation. Sijakoma kushughulikia misingi mibaya. And every time one is broken. Kila moja kivunjika. I make an advancement. Nasonga mbele. Right now we are in Eldoret. Oracle TV is in Eldoret. Sasa hivi Oracle TV imefika Eldoret. I'm believing God it will come to Kericho. Inakuja pia Kericho. It will still come to Kericho. Itafika Kericho. Every time I break a specific foundation. Nikivunja msingi fulani. There is a step forward. Tunasonga mbele. There is a step forward. Nasonga mbele. And I pray today. Ninaomba leo. The same thing will happen. Itafanyika pia kwa. We shall break that altar. Tukivunja hiyo madhabahu. In the foundation. Kwa misingi yako. Altar of poverty. Madhabahu maskini. Even the color of your money will change. Hata rangi ya pesa yako itabadilika. 
Somebody say, I hear you. I hear you. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear you. If you can deal with the foundation misi, that has been mocking you up there, you can be decorated up there. You kule can kule be celebrated. Up there. Kule Raise your right hand. Somebody. somebody say, My father, my God. My father, my God. Any cash, Any cash in, the foundation in the foundation of my life, of my life you shall release. Me. You shall release, me. release my life. Release my life. Every cash. Every cash. In the foundation, in the foundation of my life, of my life, you shall release. You me. shall release me. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody say you shall release. You me. shall release me. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So what I want us to look now Kine is foundational curses. Nilana za kimisingi. Curses in the foundation. Lana kwenye misingi. Curses that speak. Lana zina nena. Never be cheated. Usidanganywe. That there are no curses. Ya kwamba hakuna laana. There are no curses. Ya kwamba hakuna laana. Never be cheated. Usidanganywe. If there are blessings, kama kuna baraka, there are curses. Laana pia zipo. If there is day, kama kuna siku, there is night. Usiku uko. If there is a husband, kama kuna mume, there is a wife. Mke pia yako. There are things that go to hand in hand. Kuna vitu vinaandamana. Tithe and offering. Matoleo na zaka. Seed time and harvest. Wakati wa kupanda na kuvuna. Day and night. Usiku na mchana. Husband and wife. Mume na mke. They go together. Zinaandamana. So where there is a curse. Mali kuna laana. There can be a blessing. Baraka inaweza kuwa. Where people are sick. Mali watu ni wagonjwa. It means there is an opportunity for healing. Kuna fursa ya kupona. Are you understanding? Amen. And many of us that is what we don't understand. Na wengi as believers, kama waumini. As believers. Kama waumini. And a bigger percentage. Na sehemu kubwa of believers. Ya wali okoka, are the ones who suffer. Ndio wanateseka. People who didn't even wake up to pray. Watu ambao hawakuamka kuomba. They do very well in business. Wanaendelea vizuri kwa biashara. And you are there as a businessman or woman. Wewe uko pale kwa biashara. And you wonder. Unashangaa. An unbeliever is making more money than a believer. Asiamini anafanya faida nyingi kuliko yule ameokoka. What that one is telling you? Kile inakuambia. There is something you have not dealt with. Kuna kitu haujashughulikia. There is something you have not dealt with. Kuna kitu hujashughulikia. Bwana atukuzwe sana. Amen. From the days of John the Baptist. Tangia siku za Yohana Mbatizaji. Until now. Hadi sasa. The kingdom of heaven. Ufalme wa mbinguni. Suffer violence. Unachukuliwa kwa nguvu. And the violent. Na wenye nguvu. They take it. Wanauchukua. They are not given. Hawapewi. They take it. Wanauchukua. So what you don't take you never be given. Kile hauchukui hautapewa. What you don't take you never be Kile hauchukui hautapewa. Bwana atukuzwe sana. Amen. Genesis 12 verse 3. Mwanzo 12:3. Look at what God told Abraham. Tazama kile Mungu anamwambia Ibrahimu. He told Abraham, anamwambia Ibrahimu, and I will bless them that bless you. Nami nitawabariki wa kubarikiwa. So there are people who are mandated to bless. Kuna watu wameamrishwa kubariki. He says those who bless you Abraham I will bless them. Watakao kubariki Ibrahimu nitawabariki. So there are people who we call an embodiment of blessing. Kuna watu wanaitwa maeneo ya baraka. They carry blessing. Wanabeba baraka. So he told Abraham. Anamwambia Ibrahimu I will bless. Nitabariki them that bless you. Watakao kubariki. And I pray that people that are supposed to bless you in Kericho will appear. Na, naomba wale wanaofaa kubariki Kericho watatokea. I said those who are supposed to be blessing you. Wanaopaswa kubariki. They'll begin looking for Wataanza kukutafuta. Start looking for you. Wataanza kukutafuta. There are people who will give you one acre of land. Kuna mtu atakupa eka free moja. of charge. Pure. Five acres. Eka tano. Three acres. Eka tatu. Free of charge. Pure. They will tell you God spoke to me. Watasema Mungu ameniambia. To give you one acre. Nikupe eka moja. With the tea plantation. Ikiwa na majani. Hey. Hey man. Ah. Aha. I think those who be ready to get land and stuff. Wale wako tayari kwa mashamba wamesimama tayari, wamesimama tayari. Receive that in the name of Jesus. Pokea kwa jina la Yesu. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Pokea kwa jina la Yesu. People will give you land. Watu watakupa mashamba. Hey, they will give you. Watakupa. Because God told Abraham. Mungu anamwambia Ibrahimu. There are people who carry blessings. Pana watu wanabeba baraka. I will bless those who bless you. Nitawabariki watakao kubariki. So there are people until they bless you they can't be blessed. Kuna watu hadi wakubariki hawatabarikiwa. Hey. Amen. Until they bless you they can be blessed. Hadi kubariki hawatabarikiwa. So they have this blessing. Wana baraka. The day they release it. Watakapoyachilia. They are also blessed. Yao inakuja. That is what will happen. Itafanyika hivyo. Somebody say any man or woman. Any man or woman. Ha! 
carrying my blessing. Carrying my blessing. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Locate, me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. Locate me. In Jesus name. Watch in alliance. Be seated. Locate, locate. So that is the first group. Nikikundi cha kwanza. He says, Anasema, I will bless. Nitawabariki. Them. Wow. Because they are many. Ni wengi. Them. Wow. The bless you. Watakaokubariki. Number 2. Ya pili. And cast him. Na nitamlani yeye. Those who are supposed to bless you are more. Wanaopaswa kubariki ni wengi. But those who curse you is him. Anaikulaani ni mmoja. And curse him that curses thee. Nami nitamlaani atakaye kulaani. So there are people who curse. Kuna watu kazi yao ni kulaani. They are workers to curse. Kazi yao ni kulaani. How do they curse? Wanalaani vipi? You will not be married. Hautaolewa. You can't get that job. Wezi pata hiyo kazi. You are going Hakuna mali unaenda. Today. Leo hii. I revoke that. Navuta hiyo la. I reverse. Nageuza. I overrule it. Nainukia. By the blood of Jesus. Kwa damu ya Yesu. Whoever cast you. Aliyekulaani. Lifting up the hand. Akinua mkono. I lift up my hand. Nainua mkono wangu. And I bless you. Nakubariki. I lift up my hand. Nainua mkono. And I prophesy. Natoa unabii. You shall have a baby. Utakuwa na mtoto. You shall have a baby. You shall be married. You shall get a new job. In the name of Jesus. Hey, listen. Jesus and I will cast him. That curses you. Be seated. So there are people whose work is to curse. Never be cheated. Usidanganywe. We live in a society. Blessings are real. Zipo. Curses are real. Pia ni Healing is real. Uponyaji ni halisi. Sickness is there. Magonjwa pia yapo. I understand. Amen. So he says there are two groups of people. Kuna vikundi viwili vya watu. Them that bless. Wale wakubariki. And number two. Na pili. Him that curses. Yeye alaanie. His work is to make sure that. Kazi yake ni kuhakikisha. Your heaven is closed. Bingu yako imefungwa. Your marriage is cut off. Ndoa imetawanyika. Your ministry goes down. Huduma inaenda chini. What you want to do you can't do. Kila unataka kufanya hauwezi. Him that curses. Yeye alaanie. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Him that cast you. Yeye alani. So there are people where you came from. Pana watu mahali umetokea. Whose work? Kazi yao. Is to release what I call arrows of curses. Ni kuachilia mishale ya laana. Arrows of curses. Mishale ya laana. So what we are talking about today? Kila tunazungumzia leo. We are leo. talking about an invisible force. Ni nguvu ambayo haionekani. Whose work is to punish you. Kazi yake ni kukuadhibu. It is to punish. Inakuadhibu. You can see a curse. Hawani laana. You can see it. Hawezi kaiona. Just the way you can't see a blessing. Vile hauwezi ona baraka. Let me explain that. Wacha nieleze hii. When we talk about blessing, tukizungumzia baraka, we will talk about the cars outside. Tunaona kama ni magari tunataja. Cars are not blessings. Gari si baraka. <laughs> what are cars? Gari ni nini? Cars. Gari is what blessing did when it came. Ni kile baraka ufanya ikija. So when the blessing came to your house it left a car. Baraka ilipopitia kwako ikakuachia gari. When a car passed it left sickness. Lana ilipopitia kwako ikaacha ugonjwa. That's what you need to understand. Ndio unafaa kuelewa. Blessing baraka is what God converts. Ni kile Mungu geuza from the spirit to the physical. Tokea rohoni hadi asilia. This is a magnificent hotel. Inakuwa hoteli nzuri. This is a magnificent hotel. Hii ni hoteli nzuri. We can't say Hatuwezema this is a blessing. Hii ni baraka. But this is what blessing did. Hii ndio kile baraka ilifanya. When it visited the owner. Ilipotembelea mwenye hiyo hoteli. It left a hotel. Ikamwachia hoteli. What do you want the blessing to leave? Unataka baraka ikuachie nini? When the blessing visited Hana. Baraka ilipotembelea Hana. It left Samuel. Amen. Some of you wengine wengine the blessing will live five acres in your Baraka itakuachia ika tano ya shamba. It will live three acres. Itakuachia ika tano. It will leave you a car. Itakuachia gari. It will leave you something. Itakuachia kitu. And you'll be telling people. Utaambia watu. This is what blessing did. Hii ndio baraka ilifanyia. When it visited me. Iliponitembelea. Somebody say I hear. Aha I hear you. He seated for a minute. Tuketi. So this message today Ujumbe wa leo that is foundational ambao ni msingi it will touch one area that many of us are suffering utagusa eneo ambalo watu wengi wanateseka foundational curses lana ya kimsingi we call them hidden curses tunaita lana iliyo hidden curses lana iliyo jificha whose work is only to punish people kazi yake ni kuadhibu watu just to punish kuadhibu watu not because of anything si kwa sababu ya chochote that is the assignment ndio kazi yake various types of curses aina nyingi za lana they affect believers zinaadhiri waumini 
and non-believers. Both believers Wale and non-believers. But we need to understand how to identify a foundational curse. Because curses travel from family to families, community to community, from children to children, parents to children. So you must always know curses and their outcome. Lazima ujue laana na matokeo yake. The I mean uh, the know how. Au lazima ufahamu. How they operate. Vile zinatenda kazi. There is what I call. Na kila ninaita. The power of generational curses. Nguvu za laana za vizazi. Curses we call them curses that travel. Laana zinazosafiri. They travel. Zinasafiri. <laughs> Curses that travel. Lana zinasafiri. You land in America. Ukifika Marekani. The cash manifests. Lana inatokea. As poverty that was in Africa. Kama umaskini wa Afrika. You travel. Unasafiri. The cash travels with you. Lana inasafiri na wewe. We call them traveling curses. Zinaitwa lana zinazosafiri. There's also what we call. Na lana pia tunaita. Boundary curses. Lana za maeneo. That as long as you are here. Mradi uko hapa. You can be cursed. Hawezi laniwa. The day you move to another town. Ukihamia mahali pengine. The curse reacts. Lana inakushambulia. Hey. 